What's up guys? Kosem here. We're on a different mission today. Backpacker on rods in the back. We in Macri. Today the mission is we're going to fish places that anybody could fish. No hard places to get, no kayak, no boat, no nothing. Just anybody could come and fish and try and catch a fish. The goal is to catch one edible fish or one fish big enough to eat. Try in a couple of spots this morning hopefully. We're going to try Macri first. We'll try it for about an hour. We'll see how it goes. And one more spot to try after. So we're going to walk down there, it's a nice little walk down, good little exercise, morning, it's about quarter past seven now. See how it goes. The goal is to catch one edible fish. Anybody could do it. Couple of rods, laws, we'll see how it goes. Fish on. We have one small problem guys, people are already fishing this spot, I want to fish over there. So... Come with a plan B. That sucks. We have much room for much people to fish. So today being a weekday, might I get through. I'm going to see a hook up on my hand, I'm going to hook up fish there already. I'm going to coast them jig here. I'm going to make a few casts here in the meanwhile. Try here for 15 minutes. Then we go try and jump with them, but let's try to play in here. Never know. This thing is cast a mile. This is a 20 gram one. I hope anything you'll see it, if not, well, we move to the next spot. Watch them fellas in the meantime. You never know you can have a fish in this corner, this fish corner looking fishy. Probably walk down there. Hey, what do you hear a big guy fish this? Don't get a fish on the floor, it's true. We don't want a fish. Although we're taking anything we catch right now. That was a big uh, fish. Yeah. Yeah, them fellas don't get bite out your lower leg. Long mouth uh, full of teeth. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, yeah, I see some fellas there now. I just take an up five and I'll go walk across it. With the fishing spots occupied, I decided to send up the drone. I usually walk with the drone, someone doesn't get a chance to fly it because I just studied the fishing, so I said it's a good time to try it. So pull up the drone, now looking out at Mac Creek. Bay. It's an amazing sight. You can see vast ocean there, but in the bay itself, it looks totally different. The color, the water, and you can see the drone just going on pretty far here. You can see some, you can see some tide lines there. Probably good spots to fish. They have nice fishing zones right out there when you're in the boat. Nice little banking zones, and then check the green, lush Trinidad and Tobago landscape. We have a beautiful country now. Check this. Check Macri Bay there. Check it out. It looks like a little kind of a basin kind of thing. It looks very nice, very picturesque, very unique. Macri Bay, Macri Beach is one of the nicest places in North Trinidad. It's a place that's well preserved and like I said, check the greenery out there. It's absolutely beautiful. So flying the drone, you know, got some time to look at it. Look at it from overhead. But you know, I really want to do some fishing. Time was going by. The mission was to catch a fish to eat. So I see. Let me take the drone, I'm gonna fly it across by these guys here and see if I can see if they're catching anything. If I see anything, well I'm gonna walk across one time. So let's sneak up on them with the drone and I can see Uncle there about to make a cast. And you can see in a couple seconds, I'm pulling up a fish. Check him out. Uncle on top. 
Shrike, fish on. Let me see where it is. If it's anything upside. I see it. Fish jump out of the water there. He just pulled it out. Alright, alright. Man catching fish. Time to go across. Before I went across, I said, let me take a quick scope out along the side of the, the edge here to see if I'm next fish in the spot around there. If some more I can reach out there. It has some good zones just to reach it. I know if I let this walk across on another rope, but didn't want to take that chance today. Check it out here. But also very interesting is across the bay are some real nice fishing zones. So maybe one day I could come with the kayak somehow and launch it there because the water pretty calm inside the bay and check out the zones on the next side. It has some real nice little, little, little bays, little gullies and nice rock structure, snapper, grouper, good zones for them. So we get that a try a day. Right, uh, I'm going to back in this road now and see if we can go and catch some fish. Easy mission. Fish on. Alright, so we're trying to walk up them rocks right there, the goal for me is to walk up without falling down. I'm going barefoot. Probably pull up our pants. Tide is high. You know all this junk come from. There will always be here, at least not to my knowledge. A rock looking like a real slip reaction. Not the fall. Here's your slippery dish. Yeah, no sauce. Just the most of me. I know them rocks, man, is me. Flying across them rocks. Without breaking the neck and thing. Like all here, these sounds. Two fellas was fishing the bucket. And a bucket full of small jacks. A little small for my size like that. Okay, reach out. Give it a try. Size of Jackson Pala who's catching and my father down rain my, my jig. Maybe a little big for them. Just a little bit, but I'm not sure if I want to catch that fish. I don't see a fish jump very big. No, what kind of fish that was jumping? It wasn't a mullet. I 
nó mới nó buộc nó hố lộn ghê vậy We just use an efficient acceptable spot stick Chúng ta gây nhạc cho nó có kịp bác con đi buộc vô vô lấy phát lấy There's a fish. Yeah, boy, fish. Oh, cool, she come off, boy. A hara fish. What is that? Damn it. It wasn't big. But that's not going to be good. Oh, that's not so much coming to my direction. I want to hook one. I'm a little big for this tackle. I'm wanting fish in these kind of areas. Public access. What do you know? Fish on. Look at the size of this fish. These are good bait though. Jacks. I got my whole set below here. No, I have my next road I can set up on the trash like this. I think the colors are catching a little too small. I'll catch an extra one with those like this. I'll do that for now. And I saw the key here and I killed them too. See them are too small for this place. Alright, I'm gonna get my after cast now okay. Switch up something a little more significant. My god guys, I was thought I was recording all the time when I catch a Karangas. Oh my goodness, I wasn't recording nothing. On the course same jig and all can I take pictures and all kind of thing. Oh my goodness, I missed that <laughs> camera. Breaking I catch a fish on the course same jig. Nice karangas, edible size. I wasn't recording anything. I'm talking right try so I was recording. <laughs> but if you could do it once, hopefully you could do it again. Let us travel in schools. Damn it, boy, I thought I was recording, boy. He's a man, I still fight too, you know. Shucks, boy. Can't believe I wasn't recording that. And course, I'm jigging over here. Take quick chanting with the jig in my hand, the fish in my hand. Think I'm recording. Crap, boy. I'm real talking to the whole catch fish fight, swim across the side and all kind of thing. Damn it. That is... Catch the fish and talk, you know, I catch it on the back of me. I'm not even able to do it. I 
and you hook on in this truck, you can also go. Complete like a disc spray right here. Catfish. That one was a catfish. I see that clear. Alright, I'm going to go the GoPro guys. So, please, I hope the next fish I'll put on in there. Fish on here, guys. Fish on here, guys. Feeling small so far. Coming easily upon the camera this time. Feeling like an ex-carangas, but maybe might be smaller unless he's inside a fight as yet. Oh no, you know, not feel how big they are. Not feel how big they Oh, not feel how big they Oh yeah, it's like about a nice size, nice size. Nice green back. Whoa. Okay, I'm okay. up here. Yes, boy, bigger one. Cool. <laughs> Get one. Ah, uh, green back. Karangas. Fish number two. Get okay, this one on camera. This one bigger. So we eating wood. I see, once you're fishing troubles, make sure you have our pliers and the coast and pliers is the best one to have. So number two goes in the bucket. Yeah, we're catching them. But change our water this one. To the artificial post MJ walking. Here we go again. Guys, just a little update. Two nice cover greenbacks, Karangas. I was going to try an export today, but the action is good here, so we will fish here for the next half an hour, 45 minutes. And next day, we go to the next inshore spot. We call it fish boat, busting up right here as I'm up here talking. Check them there. Nice size for us, 8 9 inches. Let me go back down, see if we catch. See if we catch a couple more. We have a meal there already, but we should not come fish, but fish biting, yeah, keep going, right? Keep fishing, we should not. My creep, right here. Fish no boss up right here, yes. <laughs> if you come, garbage bag here, and slippery. So throw your rubbish in here, be careful on your rocks. Fish on. Alright guys, I've taken five more throws with this. Bait, I won't put a micro bait for the last 15 minutes. So I'll spawn and catch some. I mean, I really do care to catch the smaller fish, but I have so much of them. Big thing just jumped in the water there, boys. Eh? Big fella just jumped in the water there. There's plenty bait in the water. Yeah, yeah. I want to keep on the bigger bait longer, but time is running out. I want to test out my TV to catch them. Oh my goodness, that was a good fish. Oh my, I had to keep on this beat for longer than that. I'm going to show you my zone. Okay, something's not too much, boy. On the camera. Alright guys, for sure I left on the beat to take a few last casts the Kosem jig just because I just had confidence in it I don't know why I was going to change too so I think I'm next to San Karanga so I can still come up again all this rubbish coming from here yeah, nice one again yes man On the coast M jig. On the coast M jig. Oh my goodness. Next decent size guy. On the coast M jig. Eating off. We have enough fish to give uncle some I ain't changing this water again. Uh, but we can't put much. We go in this store. Fish in there. 
it's coming very soon guys very soon three different sizes this is 20 gram we have 15 20 and 25 three different colors i'll clean them up before i go i wish i'd bring my stove but Ooh, almost catch us somebody tangle up as i put it I'm answering all the other. Bit tangled up, oh my god, look how thick this bit. Call this. Look pretty very dangerous fish. The gill plate is very sharp. They have some teeth on them there. Slime Oh my goodness, good fish, good fish. Take it on his, on his rapine. He's the best fish I've so far. I'll follow him. Slacking his drag. What is this? This had to be a nice cavalry. Oh, I'm not cool. Look at that bait flying through here. I fall. Hope this fish is rifle so hard. Oh, hope two. I had two. Yeah, uncle. I had two fish on the same time there, you know. Yeah. yeah. Be good for your camera, boy. Two fish on this and one followed right there, you know. Nice size fella, boy. That is the biggest one. It's a 11 inch. On the coast MJ guys, we blaze them this morning like four. They can have them again. I have more enough fish there. Damn bro. So best one for the day, about 11 inch Karangas. I mean, I like the Karangas, me, I love Karangas. I'm not too close here. I'm gonna fall on the rocks. Best one for the day, guys, about 11, 12 inches. Nice Karangas, I love the Karangas. On the coast, MJ. Taking out 10 minutes again, I cast up fishing the fish by turn, right? I think I had two on, on the same jig, guys. I was pulling so hard, I don't know if the camera picked it up. I'll check out the footage when I get home. But nice fish on the rocks, right off Macri Macri Bay. Can't beat it, right? Have some fun in the morning. Fish on. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. All right, last cast. I'm going to the fish. Unless I got.
Alright, we'll do one more. We'll sing this one on Jacob. Just for good order, I'll sing. Next one, yeah, small fella. Small fish with a bite. And the bite here, though. Yeah. These are real jacks. These are good bits. Oh. You got it? <laughs> Fall out. That's a good bit. Not a bad catch guys. 12, 11, 10. This one's about like 8 to 1 I think. Not too bad at all. Right off Macri. All over the place. Remember I get a towel spot I go and try, you know? Go and clean them up now. Guys, successful day. You guys enjoy watching this video. Go and clean the fish now. I have more battery life. How do I end it after this? But successful day. Anybody could do this kind of fishing on Mark Reap. Just after the show. Of course, MJ. Keep fishing. Fish on. And this is a quick fillet for me guys because it's a one pass fillet I'm sure all these fish are going to have small fish in their guts I would have feed them on Check this fish belly, full of food. Add back, guys, we're eating. Check this. So I guess I had the perfect size on. Yeah. All them small bait they eat in there. Ah, the perfect size bait on for them. Belly full and he's still eating. This benefit of cleaning by the sea. Return this thing. Ah. Yeah. Pretty. Not at all. <laughs> you be as greedy as you want. It's not the ideal thing to feel it on. I could skin it over here. I 
and that's not a massive bloodline, so leave a little meat on his skin. Not too bad, I, I feel him too good. I'm gonna have you from Uncle. I forget to clean this one. I'll train him in your back. All right. So, check out the quality of this meat from the Karangas here. Filet clean, ready to cook. So, slice them up, throw them in a basin, and season them with some all purpose seasoning and some garlic powder. As simple as that. Then, I wanted a little extra kick, extra spice. So, I'll throw some of this taco seasoning here. Seasoning real best. I'll give it a try. So, season up well with that. And that's as basic as we're going in there. No butter, no nothing. Pan here, pan fry. That's how we're going with it. So put in some avocado oil, it's the oil I just cook with into a pot to heat up. Once again, nice and hot, you're gonna start putting your fish into the pot. Take the avocado oil, right? One piece, laying it out, and fill up the pot with as much pieces as possible, and let it cook. It'll cook pretty quickly because the pieces are pretty thin, pretty small, maybe a minute and a half on each side, cooking pretty good. And make sure once it's cooked through, giving them a quick flip. And boom maybe three to four minutes time max your fish done and trust me carangas blue runner this tastes real good once you take out the bloodline and if you lay the fish and treat it well the fish just tastes real good especially when it's fresh so if you ever catch a couple try this method remember the key thing is to fillet it properly and take out the bloodline and you gotta really enjoy this fish it's one of my favorite fish to eat actually so let's cook any fish here end up making fish wraps with it then record all that i'm showing you the fish right here to the finished product you can like chicken I think tasting real best, trust me. Karangas, freshly caught from Macrip on the rocks. I'll taste this here. Check it out. Yeah, good to go. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Keep fishing. Fish on. Oh, yeah, my picture? Yeah. Me, no, is that, bro? Were you coming on inside or something? No, no, it take, it take, yeah. Look like a mullet. White meat. Is a mullet, boy? Yeah, looking like a mullet. But them don't normally take hook, so. They are a small hook. Yeah, yeah. That is why. But them go pull real hard if you cook it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that mullet. White meat, then, when they cut it.